Hey guys, it's me, it's Talia. Today is Monday, July the 25th, and it's going to be probably a long video, so grab your switching, sit back, get comfortable. Um, I was waiting on the mailman before I did my video. Yes, it's a partly cloudy day, so the light's going to be going in and out. Can't do anything about that. Um, I guess I will start with my whips, which I normally start with. Today I have whips, I have haul, and I have a lot of shout outs to catch up on. Like I said, it's going to be a long video. Um, first of all, I'm going to move this stuff out of the way first. God, I don't even know where to start. Where do, where do I start? Um, I'm just going to go as I grab them. No particular order. And I may or may not be inserting before and after pictures. Some of the stuff I didn't get before pictures. Um, if I didn't, I will just have to insert a screenshot from the last video. The first one I want to show you is the Ludicrous Bead. And guess what? I got my printer fixed. Yeah, it's just completely going off the thing here. I got my printer fixed. Um, technically, my boyfriend got my printer fixed. And what was wrong with it? it was a dumb thing on me because I didn't think about when it started acting up. And I'm assuming when it started acting up is when I switched my modem out several months ago. And yeah, when I didn't realize, I guess, I didn't think about... When you switch your modem out, you kind of change your network. So, um, he uninstalled it and reinstalled it, and it works fine wirelessly now. And now I'm almost out of ink. I was almost out of black ink before, but now I'm almost out of color ink now. So, first one is Ludicrous Beat, and I'm, this is the pattern, but I'm going to kind of hold it back. I don't think you're going to be able to tell. This is what it looks like, Ludicrous Beat. Um, it is a plaid. Design. And this is where I'm at now. Yeah, that's where I'm at now. Um, trying to remember where I was at. I did the yellow on these two letters, and the, the, this is the S, actually, and then that's the the down bar of, a, the, of the P. So that's that. And I know I didn't say it last time, but this is a hand-dyed fabric from Fabrics by LJ. This is the... A color called Dark Waters, and this is actually an 18 count Ada. So, so I'm trying to get it so it's not bending, something like that. No. Either way, um, that's that one, and I will put that one back up for now. Uh, I'm just gonna start throwing them over there as I put them back in my bag. The second thing I got some progress on this week is going to be Pokemon. I didn't get a lot done on it just because and I'm not showing a before picture because I can kind of pretty much tell you where I was at. This is where I got on Pokemon. Um, before I had the wings here on the side finished, I did all this red from about here on the inside of the wing. From about here, did all this red in here, and then up to here again. And then there's some dark, and there's brown right there that's like where the tail is kind of starting to come up behind him. There's a lot of white down here too where his body is. 
So that's him, and then I did a couple more of the, filled in some, some of the yellow squares. These here, and then there's some couple right here that I did. So. Uh, yeah. A lot of red and a lot of white in him. These Pokemon characters, they're very colorful. I'm going to show you the whole thing. They're very colorful. There's a lot of colors in these things. And I think I counted somewhere around 12 colors in him. And that's him. That's ho That's ho o ho o however you want to pronounce it. That's his name. Um, coming right along. I can't wait to be done with this, but I know it's going to be a long time before I get done with this. Because, as you guys know, this is only the first set of pages. This is only the first top row of pages. And this is the one I'm working on. This is the one I'm currently working on. She's done. This is the one I'm currently working on. I'm trying to do this as I go because I got some things to do when I get done with this video and let's see if I can do this um yeah last week I just had strawberry finished and that was it I hadn't done anything else um this week I started working on cookie and sorry. this week I started working on cookie um I started by doing as kind of a accounting aid I did this one to kind of work my way over a little bit did her top because that's actually her top and then this is part of her skin because she's kind of facing kind of off to the side so one of her eyes is kind of like in profile like she's kind of like this something like that so one of her eyes is in profile so this is actually where her eye is where her eye goes and the other eye is here and then I had started on her face on her skin so that's all she's got done so far um, coming right along, like I said, I didn't get a chance to do much on her that day. Um, next thing I would like to share. show this one next. Oh crap, I forgot one. I'll show this. I'm gonna go ahead and show this and I'll have to go and get my my other one. Guess what? Y'all know what this is. 
If you've been following me for any length of time, you know what this is. Um, I'm going to try to see if I can find a picture of where I was last week on Lost Boys. And here is where I've got to now. Not a lot done. Not a lot done. I just did this up in here. Filled in this up here, and then I started on this. This is 20 rows because there's there's complete black and nothing but black all the way down to like here. And then there's some other colors that are kind of confettied in navy blue and dark. What is that? What is that? How the heck did I get purple paint on my scissors on my eye. But yeah, that's all I got done on him. Uh, just that little bit right there. And this was actually, this was meant to be, this is what I had wanted to work on for the back in black sow that was yesterday. But for some reason, I also thought that a, another sow, um, Christmas holiday in July, for some reason I had thought that one also was yesterday, and being at work, um, I decided to go ahead and start the one that was for the, Christ for the Christmas holiday in July, or winter holiday, I don't remember what the name of it is, but it was a, the winter holiday in July. And that one wasn't actually until today. So yesterday I started my holiday in July one. And today I did the back in black one. So that's why I worked on the black. I actually worked on it. This, I actually did this this morning. So I kind of fudged my sows. I mixed them up. I, I realized that... The back in black. I realized what my mistake was last night, but I was I was doing a lot of stuff when I got home from work last night, and so by the time I actually got a chance to sit down to be able to stitch, it was eight eight thirty or maybe nine something like that, and it was too late for me to pull this out. I really didn't feel like doing any stitching last night by then so I just kind of chilled out and on the computer so this is where this one is at now this, I, this is what I got done over like three hours this morning um and this doing it this kind of going down like this because I had started it on this row where it starts the completely all over black I had started it on this row and I had gone down 20 20 stitches um, just, just as a way of keeping up. This is what I had wanted to do this morning. This was my goal for this morning, but I should have known better. I wasn't going to keep up with it. And I think this is nine complete rows of 20 plus the Maybe 62. It's, I counted it as like 62 the other ones. So. so. I gotta do some quick math here. Two hundred and forty two stitches this morning. So yeah. 
that's it. Um, <laughs> this one will get put away until God knows when. Because I'm terrible about keeping up with these things. I'm terrible about doing these. It's... Lost Boys is just... It's the one that I don't work on very much. I don't work on as often as I probably should. And this will actually be the piece that I'm doing for... Katie just posted um, yesterday and today. She fin well, she finished posting today. Um, the South for next year. And there's one for Phantoms. This is one of the ones I have to choose from. There's actually two that I'm going to have going at that time. Um, because there's one I'm going to start today. Now that I have fabric for it. Um, yes, I got the Smarties. Oh. And then, the last one that y'all already knew about. See? I kind of pulled my southern accent out of there. The last one that y'all kind of already knew about was the, um, I think it was Angel of Grace. I keep forgetting. Um, yes, Angel of Grace from Lavender and Lace. Angel of Grace from Lavender and Lace. It rhymes. That's her. Just a little picture. And since last time, I haven't really done a whole lot on her either. I was working on her just a little while ago until the nail came. Um, did the green here. I think I did this down here, maybe? I can't remember. Um, and then I definitely did the green here. This that I'm working on is actually a blended thread. It is 3051 and 3052. The dark green that I've already done is 3052. This is a blended thread. It's, it's a combination of 3052 and 3051. And then the next color over is just 3051. So, you can kind of, I don't know if you can tell. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's what I was working on. Um, I'm going to leave her out. May or may not work on her anymore today. I don't know yet. So, she's going to go right here for now. Um, and the first new start that I have this week is it's a freebie that can be found on the Crossitching Guild. And it's another one that I have printed out here. Another freebie on the Crossitching Guild. Just the same way when I did my um, I Heart Crossitching one. Same Facebook page. This is what it looks like. Sarcasm. Because beating the shit out of people is illegal. That is so true. Especially when you're being serious. People think you're being funny. Um, this one, I am doing it in red and black. Yes, I am doing it in red and black. But, there's a catch. Dang, I forgot to put a needle minder on here. I'll get one in a minute. This is what I got done. It just says, because. Um, obviously this is the word because. Um, God, it's better. This fabric still smells so good. It's, an, it's another fabric by LJ Peace. But, I don't know if you're going to be able to tell. I really hope this light picks it up. There's some sparkle in there. You're really not going to be able to tell. There's some sparkle in there. And what I'm doing is I'm mixing in some Krennic blending filament with the colors. So the black, I'm actually mixing in this black, um, this black blending filament. So I'm doing one strand of 310 and one strand of the blending filament. And then when I get around to the red, it's going to be uh, 321 mixed with this. 
so hopefully that'll work. Um, maybe you might be able to see it in the red when I get to it, but yeah, that's that one. Um, you're really not going to be able to see it. It's just like, what the heck? Don't tell me I just, my freaking needle just dropped out. <sighs> yeah, I need to go get a needle minder. But yeah, I really don't know if you're going to be able to tell this or not. I'm not picking it, I'm not seeing it in my camera. Maybe if I'm trying to move out the way here. Maybe right there. I don't know. I can't, I'm not seeing it in my camera. I don't know if you're, you can tell it, but that's, that's what's going on with that one. Where did my needle go? I swear. Oh. Alright. Mm, yeah, I need to go get a needle miner. E cause I'm losing my needle. Anyway. So that's that one. And this is another, like I said, this is another fabric by LJ Peace. This is called Gamble. And that's another 18 count. No. Is it 18 count? Yeah, I think it's another 18 count. And that's all the new ones that I have on me. I have, I forgot one. Actually, I take that back. I forgot two. BRB. Okay, I'm back now. Um, I forgot one. Actually, I forgot two. I realized that. I did also work this week. Um, I got a couple of stitches in on the Chinese Phoenix. Um, it's not much. I'm kind of going to show you. This is the Joan Elliott one out of the Bewitching Cross Stitch. Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> that's the pattern. That's why I'm not showing it very long. Um, did get a couple of stitches in on this one. Um, not much. But it's enough that I don't need. I've... My complaining last week... I have since kind of... Kind of changed my tune on it a little bit. I've since changed my tune on it a little bit. The fabric makes it easy to stitch at night. This is what I got done on his on that one. Obviously, I did this light purple here, and then I did this little bit dark, darker purple on these two here. That's all I got done on him. Not much. Um, yeah. There's an even darker purple down here. And I think that's where I was headed next. I don't know. There's going to be more purple in my future. That's probably the next color I'm going to work on. It's a very colorful piece. Very, very colorful piece. And I really like it. I'm, I'm sorry to really love this piece now. The only thing I don't like is that it's... There's a lot of color changes in it because there are so many colors in it. And the last thing I've started this week was the one that I just mentioned a minute ago. It was the um, the piece that was supposed to be for the Christmas holiday in July. Let me hold on. I'm gonna make sure I'm saying that right. So I apologize.
Winter holiday. Yeah, I was saying it right. Winter holidays in July. God. Okay, I like to do its own thing. Winter holidays in July. Was supposed to be for day, for today, but I accidentally worked on it yesterday because I start, th thought it started yesterday. This is what I'm working on. It's the um, Christmas tree squirrel. Sorry, you can't see it up there. This is when I realized just how much my printer was running low on ink. Um, I got the second half of the, well, the second two thirds of the pattern printed out okay, but this, the pages up until like the sixth page, because the first couple of pages are like instructions and stuff like that, and then I think up until the fifth page of the pattern, it was just when it started messing up. Like, it would be lighter and darker. So I'm going to have to get more ink and then reprint it. But it's fine because actually the middle of the pattern, incidentally, starts on page 6. The middle of the pattern is like down here somewhere. So, yeah. I'm just losing everything that I... Yeah, this is the part of the color list. There are like 90 colors in this thing. So, this is what I'm working on. This is what I started for the Christmas holidays in July. Um, if y'all have known me any amount of time whatsoever, you know that I'm not big on Christmassy type stuff or any holiday for that matter. Um, every once in a while there will be a holiday pattern that will catch my eye. That's why I don't say that I don't do holiday designs. I'm just saying that I'm not big on them. I'm not, I, I'm not big on holidays in general. So, to find the pattern that I actually like is something, you know. Oh, and before I show this, this entire picture that you see, that's actually supposed to be the design. It's a full coverage piece, technically. All of this is stitched. And this is actually not even white. It's the edges of it are like really, really super ultra light pink and ultra light baby blue. But really, why do I want to stitch an all white background? Why? I mean, there's enough um, difference um, where you can tell where the swirl starts, where the swirls are. And any of the white that's in between, because there is a lot of white peeking out uh, between these colors and stuff, I'm not stitching that. The color for this, the symbol is a one. So anywhere that I see a one symbol within the, in the design, I don't stitch that. I'll stitch everything else, but I'm not stitching any of the one symbol. So that's that. I got a little bit of start. I got like one color done in a little small area. This is a 32 count white and silver even weave. Um, it does have a little bit of a shimmer to it. Um, because I wanted to do it on an opalescent white, but it's hard, very hard to find opalescent white. But this is a 32 count, so that's all I got done on that one so far. You can kind of can start making out some of the swirls. This is a little baby swirl right here. This is a kind of bigger chunk, um, and that's all there was in that. It's not like I stopped in the middle of it. That's all there was in that color. So very little bit not a whole lot and I had to double check and triple check and make sure I stitch this with it long ways like this so that's that one yet another start what did I do with I just had that thing there it is I had put in a uh, needle minder at the last minute so this is a needle minder I'm going to be using it I figured I don't have any like Christmas needle minders, so I'm using the mug. You could say it's a coffee mug, but for this pattern, it's going to be a hot chocolate mug. 
thing. So for this design, it's going to be a hot chocolate mug from Nifty Needle Nannies. So... That's a lot of projects. A lot of projects. Two new starts this week. Plus, there's going to be another one today, and you're going to see why. But I think after I start this one today, I should have plenty of whips to keep me interested. I shouldn't be starting any more whips anytime soon. Um. So the next thing I want to. The reason I waited till this do. late in the day is because I was following. The tracking on my one two three stitch order, which was nothing spectacular, it's some fabric and a pack of needles, and but something else came today that I thought would come last week, since it was like since it's been like two weeks since I sent my information to this woman, and but something else came today, <laughs> and apparently it was sent priority two day, so she apparently it took her up. Uh, a week and a half to send it off after I sent her my information. So, we're going to start with the boring stuff first. Okay, something stuck here. And um, first thing, and I'm opening this on camera. Actually, let's see if I can. Yeah. I got it. this. Um, one, two, three, stitch. We have, I like their bags because they're big. And they're the perfect size for projects sometimes. And we have a, really, did I order them that small? Those are tiny. Those are so tiny. Are they really that tiny? Pack of needles. Bella needles because I realized that the DMC ones that I was just getting picking up at the store was not working and then I got a very large piece 25 by 36 a 16 count Ada in charcoal right sorry board chalkboard chalkboard very dark gray like I said, it's another one that you can barely, you not even a bit to pick this up. It's very dark gray. Um, I'm trying to think. I think they said that the DMC equivalent to this. It's not $37.99. It's not that dark. Um, type left handed apparently. I apologize for this y'all. I'm just trying to I'm trying to give y'all an idea of um Trying to, trying to give you all an idea of 
the color, the DMC color equivalent to this, since showing it like this is not doing jack squat. Um, I just wanted to g give you guys an idea what color this actually is. Um, yeah, I guess it is. It says um, DMC equivalent is $37.99, so it's that real dark, dark, super dark gray. Um, and I got this for my TARDIS pattern. It is a full coverage. It is 16 count, which means there's not going to be perfect coverage on it. When I do full coverage, I don't like a lot of stuff. I don't like the fabric showing through. I know the fabric's going to show through. But if I, but I do try to match up. If it's a if it's a dark piece, I want to do it on a dark Ada um, to minimize any type of bright fabric showing through a dark piece, showing through dark stitching. Um, and I will I will insert a picture of the design that's going on this. Um, it's it I'm calling it TARDIS because that's what it is. It's the TARDIS. But the name of the pattern is just Police Box. I guess they were worried about copyright or something like that. So they called it Police Box. Um, but here's the design that's going on this. And so yeah, that's why I got this piece. Um, it's actually going to be too long, I think. Um, doing it on this count um, is going to make it just slightly smaller than it was intended to be. Um, I think it's charted. I want to say it's charted for 14 count. If not, I'll, um, I'll put it down below. I mean, I'll, I'll put it on the screen. Um, on a 14 count, it comes to just over 15 inches by just over 20 set by just over 22 inches. On a 16 count it's going to be 13.18 by 19.31 inches. So, so, yeah, give or take, 13 inches by 19 and a half, something like that. So, that's why I got this. just to make sure it was big enough because the next size down was it would have been a long it would have been wide enough to have three inches on either side but it would have only been two inches on the top and the bottom and yeah I'm that picky I'd rather have a piece of fabric that's too big than to not than to have I'd rather have a fabric that's too big than to not have enough room for my design. So there's that. Um, and that's all I got from 123Stitch. Um, like I said, nothing spectacular. But this other thing, however, let me put this back in here. And I'll put my needles back in here so I don't lose them. Because in this house, it would be very easy to lose this tiny pack of needles. So they're going to go in there for now. Um, the second thing I got is the one I'm most excited about. It was the one that was kind of a surprise, but not really. Is this. This is my Listia win from a couple weeks ago. This was the one that I was saying was a big lot of item, of items that was like super cheap. So we're going to go through this together. start off with, we have a Creative Accents, not, not the kit, we have a Creative Accents pattern with just the dolphins. Then we have another pattern. It looks to be, oh okay. Why is 
case and folded it up that way. I didn't know. This is going to be the uh, Celtic Angel by Barbara Botts. Celtic Angel. Um, and there's some other designs from this lady. Kind of similar to um, Joan Elliott, Teresa Winsor style. Um, I like this Native American angel down here at the bottom. It's pretty. Um, then we have, I'm, I'm guessing she put all the patterns on top. Then we have this one. It's just the charts. It's some kind of, maybe a freebie chart or something. It just says daughter-in-law by chance, friend by choice. Um, then we have... Always my brother, always my friend. This is a kit. I don't have any brothers. Not all of these patterns were shown in the listing, but hey, I'm not complaining. Then we have a sunset pattern. Um, pattern, not kit. Sunset pattern. This is animal shelf. Um, and we have an actual Dimensions kit, and this is actually really pretty. And guess what? It doesn't have 14 count ADA. It has 18 count ADA included. So this is Dimensions. It's called In the Beginning. That's really pretty. That's really nice. I like that. Then we have... The Lord is my shepherd pattern. Blue sheep. Um, then we have a Janlin kit, the Janlin kit pattern. Um, this is just called God Bless. Cute little mouse. Um, then we have like a panda pattern. Um, it's going to be hard for me to show this. I'm trying to see, see if you can tell what the name of it is. Or who it's it by. Mm. Looks like Designs for the Needle 1996. It's just gone. Um, pattern number is 5429. It just says Pandas. Um, it's this guy and that guy. Um, if I can find a picture online or something, I'll, uh, maybe I'll insert that. This is one of the ones, that, the next couple are the ones that really got me. Um, this is a, this is called Mythical Dragons. Or Mythical, yeah, Mythical Dragons. There's a couple of patterns in here. Um, yeah, there's a couple of patterns. It's more like a booklet. You have one in the middle. And then... It's like two patterns. And Elisa, I apologize in advance. These are really pretty. I'm not even into dragons. These are really pretty. Um, and then we have a Brusilla pattern. Jesus. Like artwork Jesus. Then we have a, li a little small um, kit on plastic, on plastic canvas. It's a butterfly collection. I might do this for my daughter. She likes butterflies. Um, and then there's another one. Same thing. No, it's different. Okay. This one says make today count. And this one is grandmothers are special. These two. Um, then I don't even know what you would call this. It, oh, this is just fabric, apparently. It's a printed evenly fabric. And let's take this out. It's a printed 16 count even weave, or even weave, Ada. 
and it comes with a couple designs in the middle. I'll show you. This is what the fabric looks like. That's what it looks like, and it has the um, this little print on it. And then it actually comes with this one design, I think. Yeah. yeah, it actually comes with this one design of the irises. It comes with that design. Included. I thought this is a lot of stuff. I, I got this process shot because it was super cheap. Like, I cannot stress how cheap this was. Dang it. Put in there. Here's your told. Here we go. Yet another Dimensions kit. The path to a friend's house is never long. Um, a country lane, another country lane fabric with the red. Um, I got there's two of those. Um, this one is the an eight inch circle. It's, they're both fourteen count. This one has an eight inch circle. Um, has the circle in the middle, and this one has the, the nine inch square center. And then there's another one of these. There's two of these kits, actually. Yeah. Yep. Two of these. Um, this one is really pretty. Ooh, and it even comes with a crinic. This is top notch. It mentions gold, collection of petites, the butterfly, exotic butterflies. This would be really nice to do for my daughter. I really like this one. And it is the kit. They included the the floss and the fabric. And look! There's even the critic. I've never seen a kit with critic in, in it before. So that. And then, hopefully this might be the last actual kit. Banners for a cozy home. This is by Dimensions. Snow place like home. Cute snowman. Snow family. And then that's all the kits and stuff. And there's like a few of those small um, craft frames. Just a couple oval ones. Oval. Some fabrics, in case you're wondering what that, so a yellow Ada, a yellow 14 count Ada, it's a purple 14 count Ada, it's like a real pale yellow, and then like a dark purple 14 count Ada, and then we have kind of a rust colored 14 count Ada. And then a brown 14 count Ada. It's funny, about the time I said I was going to give a 14 count Ada a second chance, I get all this 14 count Ada. And evening rose 14 count Ada. This is really pretty, actually. It's really pretty. There is some little, not modeling, but it's not like a solid color all the way around. It's like there's color changes in the weave. I don't know if you can see that. That's really pretty, actually. And then we have what looks to be um, maybe a frame. Pieces of frame. That's what it is, yeah. Pieces of frame. Just for those um, DIY frame. And there's a couple of lace ornaments here, kits, a little angel, and a little teddy bear with presents. Um, this is one of the reasons I got this. 
Oh goody, she only left me one. Hmm. So it's supposed to be three in here, now there's only one. So I get one project card. Ram project card. And then at the bottom we have a slightly bent little metal thing. Pattern oh pattern holder keeper thing. So that's all of that. That's a lot of stuff. Surprised she put it all in this box. I actually like that though. Totally like that 18. I wonder if that's big enough to put my Cricut collection in. So I get put all this back in here somehow. Good luck with that, huh? So, that's my unboxing of stuff that I just got. The whole reason I waited so long today to do my video is because I was waiting on my one to stitch order. But this came by surprise. likes butterflies, that's why I say. Now she got all this stuff in here. I don't know. There's like how did she get this stuff in here? that um might put some of that in like a way for my floss anniversary coming up in a few weeks so that's my haul one two three stitch and that that's my haul um I, I did get my printer cable in from Mustia you guys don't need to see that um I did go by Walmart yesterday and get some more of these um some of my um, some of my other projects are already in them. The ones that were in like plastic bags and stuff. Um, that's one of these. And if you're wondering, if anybody is wondering where to find these in Walmart, um, I finally found where they're supposed to be at in Walmart. Um, after looking for like five minutes straight, I saw one of these. This one just kind of sitting around on a shelf somewhere on the opposite side of the aisle from where it was supposed to, where it was supposed to be and kept walking around and walking around because I knew it had to be somewhere in the like the school and office supply section kept walking around walking around and I decided for the heck of it finally at the last minute well when I finally found them well let me go down this one aisle right here where like the filing cabinets and stuff like that are I went down that aisle and lo and behold there they were uh, on the top shelf and, and they're kind of set flat on the shelf and they have like the little dividers between them and the next item so they're kind of flat and they're kind of laying flat but this is down the aisle these are down the aisle where the um like the filing cabinets are um like the metal filing cabinets and you'll also find the um expanding accordion style filing folders and stuff like that that's where you'll find these things um just to let you know where they are at in the store in case anybody has trouble finding them they are like 97 cents each. Um, I got eight of them yesterday. I was going to get ten. I was like, eh, I don't really want to spend ten dollars on folders this time. So I got eight. Um, I still have like four left over there, I think. Um, the Christmas tree one can go in one. So, and then I'll have like three left over for future projects. TARDIS is going to probably go in another one. So. Um, and there are some, some, um, patterns, like the Phoenix, my Lavender and Lace, maybe TARDIS, I don't know yet. There's some of them that I'm saving for, to work on at home. 
I might need to take the, the flosses out for TARDIS because it being on a dark fabric, it might be easier for me to see the holes at the store. But I'll, I'll start it today and uh, get something done on it today. Maybe, maybe not. Take it with me to work and work included in my general stitching uh, repertoire because y'all know I don't really do a, a rotation. I just kind of work on what I feel like working on. Um, so yeah, there's that. And then the last thing I have, because it's been a while since I've done some shout outs and I need to catch up on shout outs. Um, and this is video number what, 42? And I haven't done any shout outs since like 37 or 38. So it's been a good while since I've done shout outs. Um, so I have a long list today. Um, I'm just going to read the names out. I may see a little something. Uh, Cassandra Houston, Lucky Cat Stitches, Lisa Robertson, Claire L. Uh, I guess it's Lisa Ma or Lisa Ma May. Lisa Ma 321. It's L I S A M A 321. Kim Wright, um, the Marilla and Morgan show, um, and they are, there's a couple of girls, I don't know if they're a couple, but I know they live together, um, and they share a channel, they both cross stitch, so, um, they both will get on there and do a video, um, one, well, they'll do one, a video one at a time, and um, one day Marilla will do a video. Um, Morgan will do a video on another day, and they'll kind of go back and forth. Um, and th they've only been on YouTube, uh, at, at all. They've only been on YouTube for like two months. And they've done quite a few videos, so check them out. They've both got some really, um, nice projects going. Morgan has this super cute kitty that just is like, just like, fall all over you adorable. Um... Then we have Simply in Stitches, and she's a lovely English lady from the in English countryside. Um, I like watching her, she's pretty new. Um, Beyond the Keyhole and Stitcher Moose are both, they've, they've been on YouTube, but they haven't done videos in a long time. Um, Beyond the Keyhole hasn't done a video in like a year, I think. Um, and Stitcher Moose, everybody knows Stitcher, Mute, Stitcher Moose, um, just recently subscribed to him, even though it's been about the same time since he's done a video about a year. Um, I figured everybody was talking about him, might want to try to subscribe to him, see what they're talking about. Um, and I can't believe he has, is it him? I can't believe he has a 900 video playlist. Or somebody has a 900 video playlist. I always like to be sure of what I'm talking about before I... before I settle on it. Okay. 
Mm. Yeah, he does. Yeah. He has he has a lot of videos of just floss tubers. Mm. I think it was beyond the keyhole that did the same thing. Yeah, I can't believe Citra Moose has a playlist that long. Anyway, um, then we have Crafty Kim that I recently subscribed to. She's been on YouTube a very long time. Um, she's been on YouTube, I think, about seven years. Long time. Um, and she originally started out doing, like, paper craft, like, card making and stuff like that. Um, those type of videos, but then... A few years ago, a couple years ago, she started posting her first um, cross stitching videos, but they weren't called Floss Tube. And she just recently, I think, started um, titling her cross stitch videos with Floss Tube. Um, so she has a few cross stitch videos out. Um, but so she has she has done a, a lot of videos. She has a lot of videos. Look at that. Um. Rachel Danowitz, I hope I'm saying that name right, Rachel Danowitz, Stella Smith, uh, Rock and Raven, who I mentioned in my last video, she's become very popular uh, among floss tubers recently, Annette's Aker, um, and I apologize if I say this name wrong, Denkai, or Denkai, um, Denkai, it's D-N-K-A-I, um, they had a very funny video out, or she, she had a very funny video out, um, that got me first subscribed to her, where she kind of quizzed her husband, her non-stitchy husband, she kind of quizzed him on cross-stitching terms and things like that to see how much he knew about cross-stitching as, from as much as she talks about it, and he did pretty good. He did pretty good for a husband. Give him that. Um, go check her out. Um, and then we have Kay's Cross Stitch. And then we have um, Stitcherista. Um, she's a very, very funny lady. She only just put out her second video. Um, and she's very funny. I love her. She's, she's quickly becoming one of my favorites. Um... I believe her, she had, her plus two channel name was different with her first video, um, and I don't remember what it was, um, because I just wrote these down today, um, but definitely go check her out, um, it's Stitcherista, or Stitcherista, it's, um, S-T-I-T-C-H-E-R-I-S-T-A, and that is all my shout outs. I will, of course link everybody's channels down below in the description box give me some time in case i can't get them all copied over at once um if they're not there uh, at first they'll be there later um but hopefully i'll be able to have time to put them all in the description box as it's um as it's uploading but i still gotta edit this thing now man god um that's all my actual video. That's all I have to say. Um, as far as actual video goes. Um, I did want to take a minute. Um, I know I'm not floss tube royalty. I know that my subscribers are only in like the 300s. Um, but for a while my last few videos, like, I haven't been getting any comments or anything. Um, I've been getting a couple of thumbs up, but no comments on anything. Um, and the 
watch count is very slow to rise like people I just feel like people aren't watching me anymore and for a while at least for the last couple of weeks you know I've been kind of secretly harboring this feeling like you know does even does anybody even really care if I post videos you know and what's what's the purpose why am I doing this and you know you try to tell yourself well you're doing it for yourself you're doing it because you want to share what you're doing and the things you've got and you want to share your world with other people um and you sh we shouldn't be selfish about it but at the same time this is youtube we want people to watch us you know to give us that almost validation of yeah people really want to see this but for for weeks now like i haven't been getting any comments or like i said the watch the watch count and people actually watching my videos is very slow to rise um within the first couple hours yeah i might get 30 or 40 views but after that it slows down it slows way down to a couple of a couple of views an hour you know and that's it's kind of disappointing to me and i know i'm not gorgeous i know i'm not pretty to look at um i'm not super funny i try to be i try to insert my personality but that's just that's just how i am you know it's hard for me to crack jokes and stuff on things that i'm talking about when there's not a joke there a lot of my joke i have a very snide sense of humor like sarcasm and making jokes about things and you know maybe that might not mesh well with other people i don't know but um it's it's been kind of eating at me and by some stroke of i don't know if it was good grace i don't know if it was a miracle or luck or whatever you want to or whatever you want to call it as a lovely lady by the name of beverly evanger um she she usually does try to comment on each of my videos and she hasn't done it um for the last couple but um i think she had been sick but um she made she commented just yesterday on my last video and I don't know if she was commenting on something I had said about the fact that I you know I ramble on a lot and you know I hope you guys like me for that um, I don't know if she was commenting on that but she made the comment that basically in so many words that yeah that they do that y'all do like seeing me and have me around and so I mean I can't I can't remember exactly what the message said but um like I can't repeat it verbatim but that was the gist of it and that like it was it was eerie how how well that was timed that I just needed to hear that and you know how it 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 kind of gave me a sense like well there's somebody out there that likes watching me so maybe it's not so bad maybe I need to just do this for myself maybe I need to just share what I'm doing with y'all and hope for the best um, but yeah I, I, I definitely want to thank her so much thank you Beverly and um, thank you so much for that um, you're a, a kind kind lady and you're a blessed lady and bless you for that um you you told me what i needed to hear when i needed to hear it without you even knowing it um so thank you thank you thank you for that um but yeah we we should all be each other and i know i'm bad i can't say anything to people about not commenting because i'm bad about not commenting because i feel like if i comment and it happens to be 
something that I want to say that I want to bring myself into it, then I run the risk of sounding like I want this to be all about me. So I don't comment. But then other times when I'm just, I'm at work and I'm watching uh, on my phone, um, and you, when you turn the phone uh, horizontally, you know, it, it takes up the whole screen. And so to comment, I would need to turn the phone back vertically and then comment. Um, but it's just, a lot of times that's when I'm stitching too. So I don't, I don't get to comment as much as I probably should. Um, and I apologize for that, but, you know, sometimes, you know, you don't, you feel like you're not getting the feedback, the outward feedback, um, and you're not getting the watches, you know, or the views, and you think, what's wrong with me? What's wrong with my videos? You know, what happened? And that's what I've been going, that, that's what I was going through for the last couple of weeks, and I apologize, um, but I can't help feeling that way. Um, and maybe now things be a little bit better. Um, I got a little bit more stitching in done this week, which is good. I got a lot more different things worked on. Um, still probably won't get a lot worked on this coming week because a lot of the schools are actually starting back this week, um, toward the end of the week and into next, early next week. So this weekend is going to be madness, absolute madness, and it's tax-free weekend this week, this um, this coming weekend, Saturday and Sunday. So I'm really dreading that. It's it's right up there with Black Friday as far as busy, and it's. I'm, I'm worried that it's going to be busy leading up to that weekend as well. So I don't know how much stitching I'm going to be able to get done um, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday when I'm by myself. But we'll see if I don't get any stitching done. I'll try to get something done. Even if I only work on one or two things, I'll get something done. It just might be a short video next week. That's it. But I have talked entirely way too long this time. Um, longer than usual. I had a lot to show though. At least I had a lot to show for it. I did finally do my shout outs, which I promised that I would do last week. Um, I promised I would do them this week, so I did them. Um, I had a lot of different whips to show. I had my unexpected delivery come in. Um, but yeah. I did want to wait until the mail came in before I did before I did this video because I knew it was coming. I knew my fabric was coming from one to three stitch. I didn't know about the other package. That was just a bonus. So that'll be it for me for this week. Um, I hope you guys have a great stitch week. Have a blessed week, and as always, I will see you guys soon. Bye.